Hey guys, and welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Today we're revisiting callouts. If you haven't seen the first tutorial I did, you can check that out in the top hand, right hand corner. With that tutorial, it was very basic. It was just a simple tracked callout with a little bit of animation. But in the time since I did that tutorial and now I've been sort of trying to develop how to create a more dynamic looking callout. One where the callout actually follows the subject along and I finally cracked the code on how to do it. So this is what we are going to create today. Now, as far as I can tell, this is the only tutorial on the internet that's gonna teach you how to do this. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and share it so other people can figure out how to do it. But let's just get right into it. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, you can see we've got two clips here. The first clip is a nice static shot of a car moving across the screen, pretty simple. And the next shot is of a cityscape drone shot. And so we're gonna create the effect on this clip and then apply it to this clip. So with the playhead over this clip, we're just gonna jump into Fusion. So here we go, and we're gonna move our nodes down. We're gonna open up a double viewer. And with the media one in tool selected, we're just gonna hit Shift Space, bring up our tool selector and just type in Tracker. And we're going to ignore that for now. We don't need it. So next we're going to create our uh, actual call out. So we're going to bring a background node in there, maybe change the color. I'm going to just chuck that in viewer one. Now with the background node selected, shift space, we're going to type in mask paint. And now you can see we've got nothing. So we need to draw our call out. And so we're going to shift to the polyline stroke and we're just going to create an effect. So I'm just going to do one line like so, doesn't matter how long because we'll be animating it. And then I'm just gonna go shift space and create just a little bit more detail there. Now, before we do anything else, we're gonna change how this looks. So we're just gonna go into the brush controls, change it to a hard brush, not a soft brush. And we're also going to reduce the size, something less sort of in your face. And I find that 0 0.003 tends to be a nice sweet spot. All right, so now we have our call out very very easy we're going to connect it to the rest of the node tree so we're just going to drag the output of the background to the output of the tracker that creates a merge node and we're just going to quickly create text as well so we're going to drag a text tool down and we're just going to drag it to the output as well create another merge node so with the text tool selected let's just call this mini cooper because that's what that car is all right so now we need a position the call out effect somewhere in the scene. So the only thing to really worry about is where you want the text to be. So if you want the text to kind of be in the sky, then you want to position this somewhere around the sky. So we're just going to grab this and we're going to move it. So I'm going to want my text to sort of appear here. And again, you don't need to worry about where this point is because we'll be animating it. So I think that looks fine. I'm just going to move mini Cooper text now in line. So we're going to have that like so. So now everything's positioned. We've got one more thing to do before we export this to be used in another project, which is actually we've got two more things. So we're going to select this bottom point here. And then once it's selected, we're going to right click and we're going to go right down to the bottom where it says polyline, polyline stroke, polyline. So the, what we've actually created, go over to this huge menu over here, which is a bit intimidating, but we only look at publish and we wanna go publish points. And what that does is makes the parameters for this point over here accessible to us to animate. And this is a very useful feature. It can be used for pretty much every single object publishing points that aren't necessarily in the inspector to begin with. So polyline, publish, oops, publish points. And so now if I scroll down the bottom here and go stroke controls, you can see point zero has been added. This wasn't here before. So you, know, you can see if I move these values, it will move that position to that point. And this is very handy because this is what we're going to connect to the tracker. With all of that done, now we can select everything apart from the media in and media out node. We're gonna right click on them. We're gonna go settings, save all as. This is gonna save a settings file somewhere. For now, we're just gonna add it to the my Fusion Test settings folder and we're just gonna call this call out test one, save. And this allows us to drag and drop this into other projects. I have done this before in my previous tutorial. Check that out up here, you know, in the top corner if you haven't seen it. So now let's track the car. So let's select the tracker. Let's bring this open and let's zoom in. We're going to grab the tracker at the start of the render range and we're going to track something. 
I think the headlight looks pretty good there. Change it and all we're gonna do is go track forward. Fantastic, so now that that's all done, we've got our tracked clip. We just need to change the parameter. Again, we've done this before. So you go to the tracker operations and you just wanna change it to match move. That means that there is now information here that this is actually a moving object. So with that done, we're gonna to wanna to go back to mask paint and we're gonna go right to the bottom where we publish the points. We're going to right click on them, connect to, now we have tracker one, tracker one path. Ignore the first one, that is just the node. This was created when we published the tracking information. So with that highlighted, and then we've got position. So we're going to click on position, and all of a sudden, just like that, we have it all finished. And now on a project by project basis, you can animate the stroke controls. So if you wanted to, you can animate the right on of this effect still, and get that nice animation going. But as you can see here, we have it tracking the object nice like so. So let's quickly add this to another clip, show you how that works. So jumping back into the edit page, you can go over to the next clip, have it selected, jump into Fusion. And as you can see, starting off with a blank canvas, we're just going to open Finder. Here's that settings folder that we created. And all we do is drag that down into the node tree area. Now we have everything where we want it. Disable that connection, we're just gonna plug it back in. Tracker, merge to media out. And all we now do, grab the tracker, we just need to go to the start of the render range and now we need to find something to track. So we're just going to, whoa, calm down there. We're just going to track that item down there. Like so. And we're just going to track forward. All right, fantastic. Now with that track, do you know what we need to do? We need to go to the operations of the tracker, change it to match move, go to the mask paint. And now sometimes you find that it won't pop up here in the tools. I'm not sure if that's a bug, but to do that, you just wanna come over and select where the point would be. It's just gonna select it again. Again, I think it's a bug. We're gonna right click on point zero, connect to tracker one, tracker one path, position, and just like so, we've now put that with pretty much no hassles into another scene and it works like so. And of course you can come through and change the text. So you could change that to building and you could position that maybe on the other side if you wanted to. You can obviously change the color and all that sort of stuff. And this can apply to any project that you want it to because we've created that settings folder and pretty hard, painless to you know apply this effect to any clip you want to. Hopefully this was really helpful. I'm super excited that I finally got this working. It's been something I've been trying to do for quite a while. And this is, as far as I can find, the only tutorial online that shows you how to create an effect like this in Fusion where the, you know, call out tracks the object like so. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you do hit that thumbs up and share it because I work quite hard on it. And you know, if you want more tutorials in DaVinci Resolve, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But until the next one guys, see ya.